Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this video, we are going to learn about the search functionality. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the header under template parts and then nav.php. And currently we have the static form. Now WordPress already provides us with a function called get search form which will create this search form for us and give us that input placeholder and the button. So we don't really need to hard code it over here. But if you do want to have a custom one, I'm going to show you in a moment how do we do that. So for now, all I'm going to do is just comment this out and then show you that if you do get search form function, you're going to get that search form from WordPress. So you can see that now you've got the search form and if you do any search, you'll be able to get it. So you can see you've got form and you have got the action all outputted by WordPress. And then you've got search for, you've got the input field, submit button, etc. right? Of course, it's not styled properly, but we'll worry about that later. So if you take a, if you take a look at the search form, if you look at the definition you in WordPress core under general template.php, you'll see that it displays search form and it says we'll first attempt to locate the search form.php file, either in the child or the parent theme, and then load it, which means that WordPress is going to check whether or not you have a custom search form. If you do, it would expect you to put that information in the search form.php. However, if you don't, it says if it doesn't exist, then the default search form will be displayed, right? And the default search form is an HTML, which will be displayed. And there's a filter applied in order to edit or replace it. So and the filter is get search form. So we'll talk about that as well. So if we go down at the bottom, we see that we have some do action pre get search form. And it talks about, um, this can be useful for outputting the JavaScript that the search relies on various formatting that applies to the beginning of the search. So that is the use for that hook. And then it goes ahead and echoes out any of the arguments in case if you pass and the default is echo and then area label. You also have the WP parse arguments. So what this is going to do is is going to take the defaults, which is this and then merge any of the arguments that you pass inside of this search form. Okay. And so you have a parameter called echo inside of it, which will decide whether or not you want to display the form or you just want to return. So default is true, which means it'll be echoed by default. And that's why you see a search form over here. Okay. You have area level. It is used to distinguish multiple search form on the same page and improve accessibility in case if you have a search here, somewhere in the sidebar down at the bottom, and then you can pass a different area label for each one of them for accessibility. All right. And then if you go down at the bottom, uh, you have another apply filter called search form arguments, and it filters the array of arguments when generating the search form. Um, then you have the array merge that we spoke about, you have the current theme support, it checks that whether it supports the HTML five. And if you remember, we already added that add theme support inside of the let's see here it is so you can see that we are using the add theme support feature html5 for the search form so it switches to the default code markup for the search form okay so it checks the format the type of the markup used for the search form whether html5 or xhtml right then you have the apply filter again, search form format. It locates the template. So it looks for the search form.php, whether it exists or not. In case if you've created your custom uh, search form, then it's going to look for that file. So if it finds that search form.php, if it is able to locate the template, which means search form is not search form template is not empty, then it's going to return that whatever content you put inside of the search form.php. But if it isn't able to find that, then it's just going to go ahead and return this search form, right? So you can see that is the search form that is being displayed 
and that's the HTML format. So if you have added a theme support for HTML5, that's what's going to be displayed. So this is the one that's being displayed. So if you notice, if you do an inspect element, you've got form search, form search, method get. So you get method get, you got search form, you got action. It uses the home URL over here. That's why you've got this being displayed here. Then you have the label. You say it says search for, right? You've got screen reader text. So this entire content basically is coming from uh, WordPress core function, which is get search form. Okay. And then if you want to filter out the HTML output, you could do that from this function. Okay. So I hope it's pretty clear about how this get search form function work. And in the future video, we're going to talk about how to modify the form, and, right? If you just want this form, if you want to use the default search form that WordPress provides, go ahead and use that. But in the next video, we're going to customize the um, search form by creating a file that called searchform.php. All right. And now if you do the search, hello, you can see that it adds the query string s equals hello and it goes ahead and renders the hello world, right? And just to show you, if you go to the template hierarchy of WordPress, uh, you'll notice that for the search result page, it looks for the search.php and if it doesn't exist, it's going to straight away use the index.php. So notice that we haven't really created any search.php file inside of our theme. That is why it is actually using the index.php to render the content. All right. So we'll come to that in the future videos as well. Awesome. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please do give star to my repository like all these beautiful 202 people have. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.